Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jolie, and with the help of my husband Justin, we are full time resellers. So, I know you're all waiting to hear how the 24 hour 50% off sale went. So, I won't keep you in suspense, but um, let's pack some orders together while I talk about it. So the sale went pretty good. Um, to recap, I put over 800 items on sale in my store. A large majority of them were clothes and shoes. There was some like home goods. I tried to not put anything breakable because when you're just selling it that cheap, by the time you spend the time packing it and all the bubble wrap and packing materials, it just, you know, isn't necessarily worth it. So I literally left the sale on for exactly 24 hours. We ended up selling 34 items. Um, a few of them were in bundles. Yes, Liberty, Becky, and Lois are all viewers, and they all bought bundles. Thank you very much. Um, it's just that everything that's sold, sold for such a low um, cost because, you know, they were like, Items that I purchased on 99 cent day, I listed them for $20, so they were down to $9.99. But when all was said and done, we made, so 34 items, $324.43 was our profit after all fees, cost of goods, etc. So we averaged $9.54 an item. So I always say I like to make a minimum profit of $10 per item, so obviously it was a little bit short of that. But it was an interesting experiment. Um... All right, first we'll go on our first item today. I sold, I'll put a picture of it right here. It is these women's Lee, um, they're plus size, size 24 brown. They're called Lee Sinfully Soft Pants. Um, I picked them up on 99 cent day. They sold for $24.99. Okay, so back to the sale. Um, it came in waves. Like we would sell a bunch of stuff then it would die off. And by the like second day, like the last few hours of it, it was pretty dead. I did have lots of people send me like lower offers on stuff. And I responded to everyone that did that said, I am running a very short 24 hour, 50% off sale. So since my prices are already so low, I'm not accepting offers at this time. And I think it was like 75% I would say of the times that I sent that message out they bought it for the sale price so that was really awesome and an interesting tactic that I've never done before and I'm like should I do that other times like there's so many times you know when I I'll run my oldest inventory at like 60% off so I'm like when someone sends me an offer should I send that same message back something to think about I guess it depends on how fast I want to move the stuff so, um, so yeah, the actual sale went well. Plus we sold a bunch of other stuff that was full price at the time, because like I said, like the weights weren't on sale, anything breakable wasn't on, on it sale. And if I had listed it in the last like week or two, I didn't put it on sale. So we still made a bunch of full price sales. So that was cool. So that sale, I started it last Thursday. So a week from today, if you're watching this, the day this video comes out and it went till Friday mid morning. Um, I shut it off and I had talked about in the past when I've shut off a sale, all of a sudden I get so many like sales right after it shuts off, which is ironic because they could have got the same stuff for cheaper. So the sale shut off and I had watchers on so much stuff. So I sent out, I think 20% off. So, you know, they weren't getting it as cheap as a 50% off, but still a decent, um, you know, amount off. I didn't expect to get much from it. I think maybe I sold one thing from that group of offers. But then the store just died. I mean, it was like crickets the whole weekend. All right, go over a second item and then I'll talk more about that. All right, so look at these shoes. They are absolutely gorgeous, completely encrusted in jewels. The brand is called Dream Pairs. Never heard of it. Um, I'm sure it's just a cheap brand, but they were brand new and Justin got them on a free pickup. So I had absolutely nothing into them. I've had them for a long, long time but they just sold for $21. So I'm just, I'm not going to just blame the sale on my poor sales for the weekend. I just, my mental health honestly has not been well and I just have not been doing my job properly. So I think that played into it also, but we sold 12 items from Friday at noon till Monday morning. That's less than what I sell on most days. Like it was, hideous absolutely hideous 
but I think it gave me like the slap in the face that I needed because I was like, all right, I need to, I need to do better. So I think I started on Sunday. If not, it was, yeah, I definitely, wait, it was Sunday. On Sunday, I was like, all right, I am listing a minimum of 10 items every day, no matter what. Then if Justin wants to list some, his will be on top of my 10. And I have been doing that. Today is Thursday, like I said. So that's what, five days worth of 10 listings or more a day. Um, and sales are picking back up again. As you'll see what I go over today, um, I only have eight sales right now going out. It's been, it hasn't been quite 24 hours since I shipped out, but they're all like decent sale prices. You know, there's not $10 items, $15 items, etc. All right. So for these shoes, I just wanted to show you, they weigh so less that they can go under a pound. So I just completely stuffed them so they cannot be crushed with paper, put them in a bag. Oops. I almost forgot my sticker. I need to print more of these stickers out soon. Um, if you guys are newer here, you didn't know, I use my Rolo printer to print these little thank you stickers. I made the um, sticker in the, um, just using the free Canva software. And then I buy the labels off of Amazon and print them using my Rolo printer. The labels cost like $10. So I can make like, I think it's seven to 800 labels come at a time. So, um, less, a little more than a penny a label, something like that. But I just think they're a nice little addition to the package. It just says, thank you for supporting my small business. Um, signed with my name. Um, so yeah, we're rebounding. I probably won't ever do a 50% off sale again like that. Or if I do, maybe I would run it longer. I don't know. It's just, it was weird. Like, I guess I wish I would have ran the sale when my store was in like better health to see how it went because with just how my store was, I don't think it gave a good representation of it. I don't know. All right. Next up are two weight items that Justin sold. He uh, filmed a clip earlier, so I will insert that here. Just a couple weight sales going out today. I sold four of these. They're Sears and Roebuck vintage weight plates. These are uh, one and a quarter pound. And they sold for $14.87 plus shipping. And then I recently picked up these. They're MTA Pro. It didn't really mean anything to me, but they're these blue uh, standard size weight plates. And they sold for $27.99 plus shipping. So the next sale is this QED Cooks Cook. Wow, that's a lot to say. QED Cooks Cookbook. Um, I showed these in um a video ages ago and i sold all those then i just showed some in a recent video um this is our local um pbs station they made these cookbooks that when you pledged money they sent them to you as a thank you this one's called c for church lady and it's just all different recipes that viewers put in there's probably there has to be like 80 of these cookbooks in different varieties. They did the whole alphabet, but then, I mean, I have found C for church lady, C for chicken and C for cheese. So like they have all different ones that have repeated, but, um, obviously these are a local thing, unless you're in our tri-state area, I doubt you're going to find them, but maybe your PBS station does something similar to this, but these are the vintage versions. Now the new ones are like spiral bound, but they sell very, efficiently quickly um i paid 78 cents i bought a big lot of them at a church sale ended up being 78 cents a piece and this one sold for 24.99 when i pack books i always put them in plastic you know some things if your package gets left out in the rain it's not really gonna matter clearly books are not one of those things so um I always put it in plastic and I'm going to put it in a box because I don't want this binder to get, you know, broken. All right. And then this was a fine just last Saturday. So didn't even take a week to sell because I didn't list this, I think, until Monday or Tuesday. It is a KitchenAid six quart mixing bowl. So um, it actually says six quart right here. 
they make all different size ones, you know, because they have four and a half quart mixers, five quart mixers. This is from the six quart artisan mixer. It is the exact same mixer I have, and I already have two bowls, so I was like, we'll sell this one. But we went to 99 cent day and found this on the shelf for only $3.95, which was a great deal. These, this is, I think this is the largest KitchenAid. I don't know, they might have come out with a seven quart by now, but I think this is the largest one. So this bowl commands way more than like the four and a half or five quart bowl. But so yeah, we paid with tax $4.23 and it sold for $45.99 in just a couple days. I'm gonna pack it in this box. This is a 12 by 10 by eight. I get these boxes um, with my eBay coupon. If you have an eBay store, oh, that fits in there so nicely. If you have an eBay store, you get a free coupon every quarter. Depending on what store you have, it's the different amounts. I have this um, tiered store that goes for $59.95 a month. So I get a $50 coupon four times a year. So when I get it, um, you have to use it on. They have boxes and bags, different things. So I try to get a different size box each time. So I have these, these are 12 by 10 by eight. As I said, I have an uh, 10 by eight by six. I get like a four by four by five and a four by six by eight. So yeah, like I kind of get one each, pick one kind each quarter. And with my coupon, I normally, I think they, make, they now make you, it seems, pay tax with your coupon. Like, I don't remember having to pay the tax outright last time, but so yeah, pretty much I'm just paying the tax on them. All right, perfect. Put this bowl in here, and then I will just fill the voids in with paper. This is a Robert Graham shirt. Like I said, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Um, if you're not familiar with Robert Graham, um, they make men's dress shirts, and they're known for wild designs and contrasting cuffs that you like flip up so they have like a different pattern the wilder design they are the more they're worth in this case i mean it was a not crazy design it's almost kind of like paisley-ish um red and then the cuff has like a geometric pattern on it but this one was new with tags Justin got it at a garage sale for only $2 and it sold for $51. That's like one of those items where it's like, why can't I find these more often? And then the last item that sold, this is my third piece that I've sold of, um, they're called A Christmas Story. They're International China Company um, Christmas Dishes. They all have a different pattern inside and have like a different phrase to the, um, the night before Christmas. I always want to say the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> but um, I bought a huge tub that weighed so much they had to use a dolly to get it to my car at a garage sale for only $25. Sorry if that ripping is loud. And I don't know how many lots I've listed so far. I mean, I've already, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I probably have like 14 or 15 lots listed out of the first grouping and I still have um, some glasses and mugs that I haven't even listed yet. But um, last week I sold some dinner plates for I think like, I think it was like 40 something. I sold a gravy belt for 20 something. And these four, um, they're kind of like very shallow soup bowls, sold for $34.99. So I assigned like a $2 buy cost to this section. So for these, I put bubble wrap in between each one. I'm going to need to go get some more bubble wrap. It's in the attic. <laughs> At Christmas time, Sam's Club had bubble wrap on sale. And it was actually cheaper than American Bubble Boy, which is where I normally get it from. So I ordered a bunch. And then my mom, they had a limit. So my mom ordered a bunch on her card too. Or through her account too, using my business credit card. And um, I have it all in the attic. I really need to see how many I have left. I might only have one or two left and I'll have to probably order from American Bubble Boy unless Sam's happens to run a sale soon, which I doubt they will. So I just do um, bubble wrap going both directions.
and you want to make it nice and tight because honestly the thing that breaks bowls is movement like them moving off of each other and like smashing so that's why i like to stack them and make the packaging nice and tight so there's no movement and we're going to use this box right here so i'm going to use this foamy um it's kind of like cottony material my brother-in-law gets a um you know like a meal delivery thing the kind where you still have to cook the meal yes i know there's lots of different ones i he just he switches constantly um but this one this is what they package around the food to help insulate it and they are amazing for packaging breakable items i love it i think two or three comes in each order So I'm just going to tape around it to completely encase the bowls. Perfect. Sticker. And let's see what we want to do. There's a good bit of movement in the box. I'm just going to put that extra piece below it. That way, if it gets dropped down, and then I'm just going to fill in with packing paper. I think I'll put this little piece of styrofoam right on the top. That way, if it gets dropped on this side, it has some extra protection. Perfect. Look who joined me. All right, so I just added up, and our total profits for what we shipped out, those eight packages, was $176.45. So a little less than 24 hours of sale. Not the best, but certainly we're back up on the plus side, I guess, um, from me destroying our store from not listing for a while. Um, I did also want to mention one other thing. So I talked about how bad our weekend sales were. So I blame it on the sale ending. I blame it on me not listing very much and not consistently for like the whole month. And then one other factor, Friday, like midday, we got the first return request. And of course, when we get a return request, we look mm -hmm. at each other and like, here we go, because they <laughs> always come in groups. We got four in like, well, the first three came in like a three hour period. And then we got one more in a, when we woke up. So 12 hour period, four returns. And I swear, like, I swear that when you get a bunch of returns in a row, eBay punishes you. Because when I did my challenge last month, our sales were all so great. And then we got seven returns in like a two day period. And then if you look, my sales just like plummeted for a couple days. And then finally they went back up again. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have the same experience. So, what did you think of my 24-hour sale? That it was dumb? Uh, it was worth a shot. I mean, you don't know unless you try it, so... Uh, yeah, I had told yeah. them, I kind of feel like, though I, I won't be signing up to do it again anytime soon, I would like to see what it would be like if I would have been listing consistently, and then I did the 24-hour sale, because, like, I feel like it was just, like, a bad combination of not doing my job correctly and then running this out and having it end. So um, I feel like if I could have seen it, like if I ever tried it again, I would want to do it when things were going like really well and stuff. But if things were going really well, why would I want to run 24, 20, I mean, 24 yeah, hour, 50% off. So. clear a bunch of stuff I out, guess. But... I don't know. Yeah. Live and learn, people. <laughs> That's what we do. It's a new month. Today is August 1st. Hopefully, we will continue to get our 10 listings a day. We are going to be out of town just for a little bit this weekend. We have family in from out of state, um, but I will do my best. Uh, we have a warehouse sale to go to tomorrow in um, Washington, PA. So if you're watching this today and you're at the warehouse sale tomorrow, look for us. I'll be the sweaty, cranky person because mm -hmm. we normally get there and stand in line for a long time um so yeah so this month we're just gonna keep trucking along of 10 items every day and i'm gonna try to do a better job of taking care of my mental health because as i said it's been struggling slightly and that's the best we can do 
All right. Anything to add? No. No. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.